Welcome to the Healthy Flamingo channel. In today's video, we will cover skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscles, we know, they are responsible for moving all of our body parts and segments. But do we know about all of its various interesting properties? And that's what we are going to talk about today. The skeletal muscle is composed of bundles of contractile elements called muscle fibers. Each fiber is of length to the 6 cm and with a typical diameter in the range of 50 to 100 micrometers. The motor neuron connects to its group of muscle fibers, forming the basic functional block called a motor unit. Motor neurons can be characterized by their conduction velocities of their neuronal axons that connect the muscle fibers. Experiments have shown that a slow motor neuron with a slow conducting axon will innervate fewer and thinner muscle fibers compared to their fast conducting counterparts, which can innervate much greater numbers and thicker muscle fibers. The muscle fibers, on the other hand, will vary in terms of their sizes, their speed of contraction, their force generating capacity, and most importantly, in their resistance to fatigue and tiredness. There are actually three broad muscle types. The ones with the slow muscle fibers, fast fatigable fibers, and fast fatigue resistant fibers. As the name implies, the slow fibers will respond slowly to motor neurons activation, will have lower force generation capacity compared to their fast fatigable counterparts and are the most fatigue resistant. The fast fatigue resistant fiber is intermediate in its response to activation and in its resistance to fatigue. Thus the motor unit block is electrically stimulated at its preferred threshold by our motor cortex based on its intrinsic properties of the innervated muscle fibers with the slowest units being activated first. This matching of the properties of the motor neuron to its innervated fibers will simplify the brain's control of the muscles. Thus the motor units are always activated in a stepwise fashion, even though the same motor command is being sent to the entire population of the neurons. If you've enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.